Welcome everyone to another video. Um, I'm really getting depressive and do I need a new occupation? Should I change my profession? Um, for those who are new to this stuff, I do open source Linux stuff for 20 years, run my whole own freaking Linux distribution, T2. The recurring subscribers of course know this already. And so what we do is for 20 years Linux distribution, but also cross compiling to all the architecture stuff that nobody else at times support anymore. And we have seen a previous video just some week ago or so where I had to patch Pixman because that was not assembling with some ITVEC instructions. And only like now I noticed, I'm just rebuilding this. You will see this in a second. So it turns out the last bin utils update, 238, I think, yeah, 238, not only broke Pixman, which is like, yeah, you'll whatever be quick quickly in 30 minutes patched that, but it turns out it broke the whole freaking GCC, right? At least G32 bit power PC. That is so crazy. Um, and as I said, it, it makes me, it's such a waste of time, right? There's a recurring theme on this channel. Um, yeah, as a video, I already started some Risk Five assembler from scratch. This is, sure they have a huge test suit and stuff, but it, it cannot be, I mean, sure, who is using 32-bit power PC anymore, right? I think it only breaks 32-bit power PC, which even for the PS3 or other stuff, right? Uh, precious stuff here. But also Apple G4, of course, of vintage or other embedded stuff. Certainly people still work with that. With, and, and embedded may certainly still some support. Time frame of some power PC, Freescale and whatever the NXP successor there are. But how can this stuff constantly break out? And this is even GNU and GNU, right? This is even freaking GNU projects. I mean, sure, people don't bootstrap this, but to sum this up, I I mean, it is amazing that people subscribe and tune in and, and Patreon and go fund me. But basically, this takes so much time. And somehow, I have to say, my impression is more stuff breaks, no, right? I throw more data, previous video, right? I throw more data, automated packet up to on, on, on this here. Um, I throw even more epic for ripping resources, CPU cycles on here to test build all this stuff. But somehow the last years I spent such enormous efforts to bring this open source ecosystem to uh, people who want to use it for embedded and desktop. And so yeah, so this is the error. So I'm not making this stuff up. And I retested this. So I spent, before this video, I spent already 30 minutes and this is exactly the same opcodes um, as we have seen with Pixman. And um, so the crazy thing is the build system, I previous videos, right? If you're interested to this stuff, I have already, I don't really want to debug the stuff for, for one hour. The problem is previously I, saw, I wasted easily 10 hours, some, some crazy amount of time. And I'm a tiny little, um, not, not to say uh, unsuccessful YouTuber here. Uh, I'm, I'm a small uh, couple of, of people company here and, and YouTuber, right? At, at Exaco, you probably don't want to delay and, and, and stuff if you uh, need make, make retail software, right? I'm, I'm not even selling the most T2 stuff, obviously. And how is it that, that we here on T2, I mean, there is a reason that Red Hat Red Hat's IP pool is number one and number two access to our websites Websites for years already. Probably they need to copy and paste all the good fixes from us. But how is it that I constantly, day after day, 24 7, 365, I need to fix others' big project stuff and then when I uh, can't even get AMD or sci fi 555 to fund this stuff. So, the problem is the last time I, I wasted 10 freaking hours over probably two or three days of my hobby, not free time, to improve the GCC build system for better Mightylib because it did in previous videos that are actually laid out for poor PC was also crazy. Um, and the problem is to, the, the easier thing, uh, so how to, to tackle this now for Pixman and also, yeah, I'm, I'm really getting depressive, right? I said it probably in the beginning. So, I mean, I sit here and, I mean, sure, I understand I get this shit for free. And I don't, I'm not paying the GNU Free Software Foundation for this stuff. 
But in the meantime, after 20 years, I could have written a lot of stuff myself in, in probably nicer, readable, not C good quality. Um, and I'm all one of those exceptional people who donates tremendous amounts of, of time back, right? Not like other companies who've just taken the stuff and give next to nothing back. Um, I'm for 20 years fixing all the stuff, making it all work, publishing it like like proper, like like super readable, browsable. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, so the crazy thing is I debugged uh, that already a little bit uh, here, probably of um, GCC object, was it probably here or here? Mm. Why does it not config or maybe object here? Where was this? Uh, maybe we find that. And so the, the, the instructions are really there. Oh, let GCC, that is why. So the instructions are really there and they are if dev not power PC, like if, if not dev power PC 64. So I think this only breaks 32-bit, um, which in Mightylib support you build this and have this, right, for, for B-Arch of 32-bit and 64-bit. Um, and as you see, the code is really there. And so the crazy thing is for PowerP64, is the stuff that even I don't know after 20 years only, why do I know so much stuff? Because I constantly fix all the stuff here. These functions are provided by the linker. Um, interesting stuff. So you, you have to wonder why on PowerP64 they provide this by the linker and 32-bit uh, PowerPC, they have this in here. So this is saving um, ultivec state. Colius are pointing beyond the end of vector safe. So this is vector safe area. What is even the... Um, oh, you know what we... Um, machine ultivec text. Where is even the... Also oh, this is... Okay, so the, the hidden function is safe VR. Okay. Um, so uh, this built previously, right? Um, and this is just crazy stuff. I built PowerPC for soon 20 freaking years, right? I, I got my first PowerPC machine, something like probably 2003, plus minus whatever, or whatever that uh, I could look it up. Maybe even 20, uh, 2002 uh, G3 iBook. Um, so I'm, I'm supporting PowerPC stuff with our Linux for 20 freaking years. And, and like, how can 20 years, like every day something breaks, right? Um, this is so depressive, really. Um, it kills also all motivation. Yeah, I, I, other companies fly to space and we sit here and do the infrastructure work. And um, basic compiler stuff breaks again and again. And, uh, one week for risk five. Also, the, the only thing is I actually wonder if we quickly should test uh, where, uh, which kind of Tmux do you use? Um, I should somehow have a... I wonder, we have a similar thing on risk five. I wonder if that is... Oh, I don't we had SVN up. So I'm not go going to fix it. I only want to shout out here my, my frustration with this stuff. Um, Bin utils disk, let's see. I didn't check that yet. Um, I should have actually run that out uh, in this really risk five, because that is the crazy thing. Is this uh, risk five also broke uh, a cargo of all things, but um, press should be been new to the pre shot. So yeah, we have uh, and welcome everyone. And I mean, I would even not live stream this random stuff. I mean, it, it even is boring and gets on my nerves, which is also why I invented our data bot of at least having all the package oops, updates uh, done. If I wouldn't have made the questionnaire, the, the poll on the moment channel and people actually um, voted that they wanted to see that. Uh, let's see. Oh, just by yeah, so 45 people of actually 60. Yeah, I mean, not too few people voted for that, right? Um, 40 51 people even love this code streams, which which is amazing. So, yeah, I only wanted to quick if, if you're wondering um, why we can't have nice things, and 
this is wasting so many people's time, right? Imagine all the embedded engineers, and this is not only PowerPC. Like, imagine all of the stuff that I find here just on my daily after work open source distribution support stuff, and then Mighty Plays with all Red Hat, SUSE, uh, although they, they obviously only support a handful of mainstream stuff that hopefully probably works. Mighty Plays with all the embedded stuff, of uh, embedded engineers, of uh, all the probably hundreds of embedded projects and, and constantly stuff doesn't work. Uh, wait a second, why is it, did, did I actually, should this not be cargo, did I, what did I do there, I'm not even sure. Anyway, so the, how we could do this, I'm a little bit, I mean, we could theoretically selectively, I'm just, my nose is itching, not that I soon, I also coffee is empty. I'm, so, so um, it could be, what could be the issue? I mean, theoretically, it looks to me that bin utils is filtering the instructions, um, the, the new version. Also, after 20 years, right? After 20 years, they need to fiddle. And this is the thing, right? People always touching, touching. The only constant is change. And with change come regressions. Can you not freaking leave this stuff in, in peace? Uh, we could diff this whole stuff um, to find out what could be uh, the thing there. This could, of course, be huge, um, which I'm already not, not looking forward to. Uh, bin utils, hello, what is it? Uh, 37 and 38, so maybe not verbose. Um, but yeah, leave in the comments below. What is, um, have you experienced constant, I mean, it, it, Microsoft and Apple constantly breaking their operating system is one thing, but the free open source, um, people constantly breaking their shit is, so, somehow I, I thought the thousand eyes and, and thousand people uh, are supposed to do that better. Yeah, um, it's also configure noise, right? Uh, amazing technology. Um, what are the futures? Uh, yeah, so 3,000, so that, that is a thing. We, of course, it's not like set 80. Um, so we can selectively power PC. Uh, maybe even either we find something of Altivec. Yeah, thank you very much. Can we diff our, um, and, and even, uh, wait a second, what is, what, uh, this is just read, uh, yeah, diffing how many were this? Is it, that is of course complexity. Okay, so Rust still failed there. Thank you very much. Um, gee, I was more interested in cargo. But, and the modern stuff, like if you, like asking uh, uh, do you, why do you care about this old C stuff? Rust is a new f future. It's like, yeah, cargo also. Yeah, okay, so cargo doesn't change with bin utils. Um, that is also so crazy, right? Um, it was building last month and then you update Rust and cargo a little bit and then this doesn't even build for OS Drive anymore. And the problem is you can't even test for all of this, right? Because one, you can't even like test like Spark or PowerPC because that is what is also like, breaking the most, although to be fair, I think Spark and PowerPC are the ones that historically broke the most. But if, if I would like test those, Spark and PowerPC, then as you see next month, you can't even test, I mean, I'm, I'm already rebuilding all this stuff, right? But you can't even uh, reliable, rep like if you test this, then next month's risk five breaks. And uh, what is even going on here? What, where is it even coming from uh, compiling? B string unknown error unknown directive of yeah you have to wonder is that what freaking is it even so no maybe the user x86 assembly or I don't know what thank you very much uh, crazy crazy stuff um, so this are yeah a quarter of a million insertions. Um, and that is certainly not a, where would be, 
what is it called? RS6K or stuff. Yeah, something else on here. This is, by the way, I really hate this style of math copyright substitution. We don't do this at Exacode. At Exacode, we update the copyright the first time we change the file because this is not only random noise. Um, and so you can't even on a first glance see when was it last touched, right? Uh, otherwise, if you only update this when you really change it, then you instantly know how old the file is. Why does this stuff include checksums? What is this? Okay, it's not in one of those. Um, and so it should be the assembler, so that should be Garth. And but yeah, here we are in 2022 needing to figure out why this stuff doesn't assemble that. And I mean, it could be that. I mean, may. Uh, we built with G5, so I mean, G5 has this, of course, which is. I really wanted to do different things in 2022 than debugging a freaking assembler written in, in C. Yeah, this is so crazy. Um, maybe we should take a look at the change log and hope that that gives us some. Also, this is of course not definitive. You would need to count on that they actually really update their freaking change log. Okay, here's some git stuff though. Um, maybe we should actually case insensitive vi or something. Uh, test case triggers stop error of uh, absolute symbols. And that's the problem, right? Super time consuming. What is this? This new test suit stuff. Thank you very much. Uh, search and building. Okay, this is. I mean, maybe ulti back or something. Here's something. Probably ignore sticky options for what? Ignore sticky options for machine? for a long time have been allowing certain ML options that extend the base CPU with extra function units before the base CPU, for example. Yes, and maybe it's something like this here. Uh, Sense keeps any of those sticky flags when handling a new CGCC. They think that includes machine that instead of machine or to override the command line, instead of mach machine or to override the command line, that's what I mean. Also, yeah, people breaking GCC, right? I mean, it, it sounds pretty much did this had a machine override GCC of which one would this be? Actually, it doesn't should have. It uh, should be in both. Um, do we have this here? Does it have an override for it? Yeah, machine. I'm a freaking machine override. Yes, here freaking it is. Uh, yes, thank you very much. Um, and th that is the thing, right? People randomly, I think that, and uh, yeah, yeah, YOLO, YOLO, whatever, let's, let's just after 20 freaking years. And then, of course, T2, I mean, maybe people at Red Hat and so, so, and, and so on should use freaking T2. Also, ironically, just this here, right? For example, MLTVEC Power 4 is the same as C, um, half freaking 2008. Thank you very much. And it looks most likely that the, exactly this is the is issue here, right? And with the re reproducible and fully automated build system um, that we have with T2, um, you notice that instantly. I mean, maybe I should, so what I, what I probably really should and do Although I'm so sick and tired of this stuff randomly breaking, um, that um, maybe I should make a bootstrap target that doesn't build major stuff that only like bootstraps the tool chain and, and maybe the C library or stuff, and um, then um, no, no, Doxus reconnect. Thank you very much. Um, 
And maybe I should weekly, like for really quality measures, and which would be amazing if you share, like, and subscribe and Patreon and stuff. I'm, I'm not, I'm not like making this. I'm not artificially making this breaking stuff up to collect Patreon and stuff, and YouTube membership. But I somewhat really need more funding to to invest even more looking after such details, because it's just a freaking time consuming, right? Plus all the electrons that we warm up and, and, and send up to the send back to the power grid with it because that would catch those bootstrap issues uh, quicker right if we not building everything because a building like a minimal desktop takes two and a half hours on a epic thread ripping Ryzen 1550X which would be amazing if we like maybe within 20 minutes we could bootstrap extract the headers Linux kernel headers for ABI um, and build binutils GCC and, and just like what you can build in 20 minutes. It's certainly more doable on a weekly basis than freaking building everything. Um, let's see, uh, could it be uh, related as of 2022? GCC doesn't pass the correct CPU options to the command line. See GCC PR, hack around this, keeping sticky options. What hack around this by keeping there is a patch for that. Sounds amazing. Um, let's actually, we can open that. It could be rated as of uh, GCC doesn't pass the correct, although I mean 2022, uh, what is it, 02? Um, GCC PR, hack around this by keeping sticky options for only. Mm. Well, the, the GCC, oh, wait a second, what is here? Broken assembly and properties use two CPU options. Uh, what do we have here? This patch cures by translating all at once in order the equivalent assembler M options. Uh, ASM CPU spec is too fragile. A mechanism, yeah, no kidding. Mm, machine directors that edit. Also, I, I really hate that this stuff is R six thousand. I uh, this is uh, the early IBM stuff. This should really poor PC. This is so ridiculous. They refactor. I won not already twenty years ago, and it is more insane today that all this poor PC stuff lives there at GNU stuff as R six K. Um. More stressing machine, more than that feature has been in the past, but frankly, it's, it is supposed to work. Machine already has been stressed more with iPhone push and popping devices. Uh, this is this is so silly. Um, where would be maybe we should actually uh, hello? Why does this not? Yeah. Why do we not have hello? Just use the chance to reconnect to the situation. So, um, just see. Uh, yeah. Nothing like finding this bug number or there. Thanks for looking this up, by the way. I really appreciate this community effort. Um, Wait a second, this is 2015 though. Um, did you, did you say, uh, what? Specifically, keep sticky options to work around GCC box. Um, I did you how to read? Let's see. So, the only thing is um, to test this, it takes quite a while to rebuild. Uh, 
while, quite a, quite a while, and quite a while. Um, Hotfix PC patch. Oh wait. Let's also use a chance I noticed or otherwise we, I mean, the crazy thing is we already, and, and this is a sheer amount, right? We already need to, for one and a half years or so, need to even hotfix the G5 and cell optimizations are broken, right? We made a video about that already. And, um, And that, that patch I even sent upstream and, and pinged those um, on GCC patches and, and Twitter even, and it's, it's still not there, right? So increasingly, if you want a working system, you probably want to use the T2. Carlos asks, build on all winner D1, D1, that was a risk five, right? Um, I think it, the, the thing was a little bit quirky, oops. Um, but I will also not, I mean, I, I can't really do everything. You can also, um, the community can do stuff, but basically, if you want, um, yeah, so that, that is it. One chip was a little bit quirky in, in terms of, I'm not sure if it was that one, but I will increasingly, um, I spent already way too much money, um, including on vintage stuff. So, from I will increasingly, everything that I like, might not really need myself for something, rely on community donations or company donations also, because really getting tired of, of buying everything. But long story short, I also, I mean, if you want to donate this stuff, then we can take a look at this. Also part of a YouTube video, but otherwise, um, I also increasingly have more important things to do. So, and uh, how many patches do we hear though? Um, here is this, yeah, we want, I wonder what was that one here though? Because mm, that, that is more sticky. So our new naming scheme is the stuff that could be auto-deleted. Mm, I think... So this G5 thing would be a uh, hotfix. Mm, hotfix G5. Five and sell or power four patch. So it's not the most important there. Um, maybe also the slip standard VN. I think this was some really strange cross quirk um, to hot fix. Oops, why oh, yeah. So the thing is, it takes some minutes to build. So I mean, we can certainly try that. Let's see if it builds. Uh, I should have I should have brought my coffee. Man, my coffee is empty. And um, as crazy as my day was, um, oh, this also doesn't patch. Thank you very much. Mm. Yeah, this was this was even only my first coffee, and it is already the end of the day. It should be unlawful to drink the first coffee at um, 1900. Uh, we could look for, so how, what do we do now? Um, which patch was it even for bin utils? Um, that is for, for what even is it? Um, commit made it more strict, weaken it again. Um, maybe we could either professionally look into how much doesn't apply or go through the... But this is also, this is also the quality engineering, right? People do random stuff and then you obviously 
basically as a rule of thumb, right? If you do random stuff, you will break random stuff. And if you if you do random exotic stuff, oh wait a second, this is the wrong word. I take this back. And if you um, the more exotic random stuff you break, the more actually co even GCC compiler and Linux kernel and boot stuff, right? Um, yeah. So thanks for the patch. Maybe maybe that is exactly that that we found with diffing that. But also there's also not only general criticism here of, of what constantly breaks, but also I hope I mean 51 or so percent. Oh, thank you very much. 51 percent of people voted here for this. So I guess people also like this and and learn. I hope you really learn like how to pinpoint the stuff because most people always like yeah didn't build and then like run to try random things things and don't waste your time with random stuff uh, really look into the details analyze what is actually really going on there why does it not work anymore um and and so on and look at the real low level details uh, we could check with this do we is there a new rust and cargo version maybe to unbreak Risk five. I mean, I did not yet build, and that's the crazy stuff, right? I said earlier, let's maybe make a bootstrap target to test bootstrap build um, weekly, but that's only GCC, right? Then you also have LVM Clang and, and Rust and Cargo, and where even freaking stop, right? Then you know, people also want SIG and NIM or, or Julia and Swift, which we still need to package. Um, but yeah, as you see, I'm not making this stuff up right. Gentoo also found that. And um, it's 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 a crazy world. Um, so this is the rename patches still apply. So that order didn't matter. Um, uh, you know what, why is this uh, we are also using? Because I use this for math building. I, I somehow, um, that is actually a little bit annoying. Um, that also explains why this builds so long. I should, oops, we probably should, ah, oh, come on, too fast typing or uh, we, we maybe, sh maybe we should introduce some new option to override this. So, and because also um, Dash also asked on our Discord for static building and maybe we should actually introduce a mechanism to override some stuff like this jobs. And we, we could use it, for example, the, because the issue is I, I constantly fall into this trap of my automated stuff, building stuff, and I use Parallel 5 or whatever that was, because we massively build, parallel build 24 architectures and otherwise we run out of memory. So I use Parallel 5 there with TempFS uh, temp and stuff. And when I then manually build something for debugging, then I use the same, not as Parallel setup there. And um, one solution would be to generate the config with 32, for example, and then use a new option mechanism, for example, and also how new mechanisms and options and arguments are added because yeah, someone needs this, right? Like Dash, I think asking for static, so for like full build package Dash static, and um, this would be similar to my use of having a full parallel default there and then um, like generating the config with, with native threads and then using my build server of overwriting that to parallel max 5 for example. So that would help me in that case and, and solve my issue as well. Um, standards don't have so good build system, safe but cool to see, you know, some distros don't even update the build systems that often Oh, yeah, so many arches you have. Yeah, so many architectures. Um, and the crazy thing is, uh, that is not even, okay, so that patch fixes that. Uh, thanks for that, DeGrave. I really appreciate the community effort of um, helping getting this stuff fixed. Um, that probably, so maybe this stream was a win-win of this tip maybe saved me as much time as overhead it was of summarizing and, and streaming that in util. So, that is a nice thing. And let's import that here. 
as named hotfix so the data could delete it. Uh, hopefully, maybe if it doesn't apply sometime in the future. Bin util there, oops, bin util there. Imported bin utils, oops, bin utils. I mean, I wonder a little bit that we need uh, Altivec because the default should be G5 in our build, but no, you know, whatever, whatever. Maybe the, probably the make file, most likely the make file does some trickery of whatever base CPU they use there for multi-lib potentially or something. Imported bin utils, mm. poor piece, oh, what is with me today? I need sleep and stuff. Mm. This is even freaking Linux kernel, right? And as, exactly as I predicted, here's patch something bin utils versus poor PC32 Linux kernel. And exactly as I expected with my experience, this will also affect break other stuff like Linux kernel or bootload and stuff. Um, so that is machine specially treat um, uh, sticky machine options or something. Ported binut proxy sticky machine um, fix or whatever. Imported binut proxy sticky hotfix. There you go. And then also the GCC patch rename for, um, yeah, this is, is that even? Ah, wait a second. Um, this would be two things actually I have here. Should we maybe lock GCC? The detail bit the default build quirk or something. And then this other stuff. Not to mix the patch rename, maybe I should actually check. Yeah, moved, moved, uh, it looks about alright. I use this here to Actually, regenerate the patch name there. Renamed to GCC patches hotfix. Something of that sort for data to delete the stuff. Um, yeah, another successful <laughs> fix after work fix, but uh, yeah, I, I so feel after 20 years. There's so much lifetime wasted on, on keeping stuff building. This is so hilarious. It, it's also building, boiling down to never never touch a running system, right? It, it was like, why, right? It, it, I mean, yeah, it was another bug reference there, but other, yeah, I don't know. This is, feels sad and depressive. And All right, we want it as a, as a last thing. Maybe check if we have a new Rust and Carbo version. RSC probably package. Probably I should also implement a 404 handler or stuff. Mm. Where would that? I think I I think we updated that relatively recently though. Yeah, 159. That looks recent. But I wonder what broke that. So maybe maybe Rust broke that though. Mm. Where do they have that here? Maybe. Yeah, this is all the latest versions. Um, but the Rust and Cargo stuff is even more time consuming. Um, when was it? No, I, I think this wasn't released recently, was it? But thanks for the note though. Um, I think this is in the release process. I think the problem is 
that Foronix is using strange titles or clickbaiting titles. And then it happened multiple times that I thought something was released and then it wasn't. But let's release schedule. So branch. So no, that is. Oh, wait a second. Don't look. No. Oh, what? This was released? Really? Seriously? Mm, interesting. So didn't expect that. Cool stuff. Um, the problem is how much will it break this time, right? Maybe, I mean, we, we, yeah, maybe we do this later at, at midnight or so, but thanks for the tip, didn't even. Uh, do we have a... Um, when, when was this even released? Uh, they don't even really quite say this yet. Was it released like today or what? Do they still write this? Sometimes the release notes are not even filled out. Um, yeah, so this is the thing is how much will it break? Does it build with Mesa? And that is the thing if you have this infrastructure project that are increasingly used by uh, more packages, then um, it, it might break Mesa and, and Rust. And, Anyway, maybe we do this later. So uh, now I go uh, dinner and uh, now I go dine. And um, thanks for watching. Leave in the comments below what you think about this crazy regressions and, and people constantly tweaking. Yeah, the only constant is change and regressions. Um, crazy stuff. It's, yeah. See you next time.